Supported brushing. When supporting someone with brushing their teeth, it is important to introduce yourself to your client. Having a bond and building trust is essential for brushing success on someone else. Positioning your client by letting them sit in a chair can give easier access to their mouth rather than making them stand. Try and gain verbal or non-verbal consent to brush if able and consult their oral hygiene plan to know their routine prior to brushing if available. Make sure the client's head is supported if needed prior to brushing. Supported brushing with an electric toothbrush. When using an electric brush, one, remember to be gentle when brushing. Two, watch the pressure sensor to make sure you aren't pressing too hard. Three, work in quadrants so no areas are missed. Four, make sure the brush is half on the gum, half on the tooth. Five, only use an electric brush if fully charged. Six, teeth should be brushed twice a day for two minutes. Seven, fluoride toothpaste should always be used, 1,450 parts per million. And eight, the patient should not rinse after brushing. Angle the head of the brush onto the gum line. Each tooth and gum should be brushed for four seconds. Let the brush do all the work for you. After lingering at the gum line for four seconds, drag the brush up against the tooth and then back to the gum line of the next tooth. Brushing on the inside of the mouth should be done in the exact same way lingering at the gum line for four seconds before moving on to the next tooth. Time should be spent on brushing the inside of the lower front teeth. Notice the angulation of the toothbrush. Tilting the brush high vertically allows better access and plaque control. Work your way around the mouth, quadrant by quadrant, so no area is missed. The tops of the back teeth should be given attention when brushing. Time should be spent brushing these areas to remove plaque and food debris that if left could cause tooth decay. When brushing the client's front teeth, remember to gently pull their lip away to gain better access to the gum line. The top teeth should be brushed in the exact same way. Ask the client to open wide and then close slightly together to gain better access to the back teeth. When brushing someone else's teeth with an electric brush, you should always have a pressure sensor. If the red light indicator goes off, you are applying too much pressure, which could result to wear and trauma in the mouth. Apply less pressure and the indicator will go off. Using toothpaste. A small pea-sized amount of toothpaste should be used when brushing. 1,450 parts per million of fluoride should always be used to protect against dental decay in adults or children over three years. Too much toothpaste can damage teeth over time in developing teeth, and too much toothpaste also encourages excessive rinsing. Remember, spit, don't rinse. When using an electric brush, one, remember to be gentle when brushing. Two, watch the pressure sensor to make sure you aren't pressing too hard. Three, work in quadrants so no areas are missed. Four, make sure the brush is half on the gum, half on the tooth. Five, only use an electric brush if fully charged. Six, teeth should be brushed twice a day for two minutes. Seven, fluoride toothpaste should always be used, 1,450 parts per million. And eight, the patient should not rinse after brushing. Supported brushing 
with a manual brush. When brushing with a manual brush, a small headed soft bristled brush is advised. 1. Brush the mouth in quadrants and 2. Work the brush in circular motions, half on the gum, half on the tooth. Gently pull back the patient's cheeks and lips to gain better access to the teeth and gums. Gain access to the back teeth by asking the patient to close slightly together, always brushing the gums and teeth. Spend time brushing the tops of the back teeth. This is an area that food often gets trapped and needs to be targeted to help prevent tooth decay. Remember to check with the client that they are comfortable throughout the brushing. They may need breaks or to rest their jaw from time to time. Gently use your thumb to pull the lip down to gain better access to the lower front teeth. This is a key area that is often missed and should be targeted. Overcoming challenges when brushing. Using a finger guard. A finger guard is essential when brushing someone else's teeth for finger protection. The finger guard should be placed on the opposite side you wish to brush. Ask the patient to gently rest their teeth on the finger guard. Patients may naturally bite down and rest their mouth. Notice the ideal position of the finger guard. Brush half of the mouth on the opposite side of the finger guard, quadrant by quadrant. When you want to change the finger guard's position, 1. Ask the client to open wide and 2. Use gentle encouragement. 3. Do not attempt to remove while teeth are firmly fixed around the finger guard. Move the finger guard to the other side of the mouth. 1. Ask the client to open wide. 2. Use gentle encouragement. 3. Slide the guard to the back teeth and ask the client to gently close. And 4. Forming trust and working closely with your client is key to success. If you need help getting a finger guard, please ask the dentist or dental therapist on your client's next visit. Recap. Brush for two minutes at least. Finger guards should only be used per client and not shared. Brushing too roughly can put a client off brushing altogether. Give your client breaks if they need them. And be careful not to cause injury when using a guard or brush. Using a mirror. Mirrors can be ideal for helping gain access to difficult regions of the mouth. Notice how the mirror is used to pull the cheek back, exposing the teeth and gums and allowing easier access for brushing. Very little pressure is used. The mirror head tucks under the lip. The mirror follows the toothbrush around the mouth, making sure no area at the gum line is missed. Plastic mirrors should ideally be used. The mirror should only be used per client and not shared. If you have any queries about the techniques shown in this video, please contact your client's dentist or dental therapist for more tailored advice.